place where Australia began, Parramatta, the very cradle, in fact, of this great Commonwealth. Today, Parramatta is a thriving city and centre of a large and prosperous district where modern department stores and office buildings of its vigorous business section have grown up surrounded by the echoes of history. This fine colonial style building stands on the site of the birthplace of Melbourne's founder, John Batman. Roseneath, another family home dating back more than a hundred years. The oldest existing house in Australia is Elizabeth Farm, built by John MacArthur in 1793. Government House, erected in 1799, and the Governor's Bath House. Among the finest examples of early colonial craftsmanship are Parramatta's time-honoured churches. Weathered walls which have watched as our pioneers laid the foundations of a nation. The ancient stone wharf, terminus of the first steam packet plying between Farm Cove and Parramatta. A milestone erected when the journey on foot was an adventure fraught with the fear of bushrangers. Australia's oldest school is the King's School, first section of which was completed in 1836. Many generations of Australians have taken part in the traditional parades on this historic spot. Site of the school was once the residence of the famous botanist George Cayley. Later, in the 1820s, the Agricultural Society used it as an experimental garden. Nurses from the nearby hospital, and indeed any with time to spare, are well rewarded by a stroll through Parramatta Park. In spring, the wisteria is a great attraction, with its long hanging clusters of lavender flowers with their delicate fragrance. Of course, every community must have its recreation and Parramatta is proud of its facilities for every type of sport. At Silverwater, with frequent speedboat races, draw big crowds from the surrounding district and beyond. A spectacular sport with thrills for both speedsters and spectators. Here is a city rich in historical associations, where it's but a stone's throw from yesterday to today. A city proud of its colourful past and ever building towards greater development in the future.